I just overheard my husband declare his love to someone else. How would you feel you're just minding your business and you heard him on the phone, your hobby or your man, your man, telling someone else like, you're my soulmate. I can't wait. I can't wait to get off this hospital bed and come and spend the rest of my life with you. How would you feel? For me, I'm going to be very angry, very sad. You know, a lot of things is just going to be running through my head like, what is going on anyways a lady posted this on a reddit thread so let's read what she has said because she's experiencing the same thing she said i just overheard my husband declare his love to someone else i was sitting on my couch 10 minutes away from my 60th birthday today my husband of 35 years and i were at the doctor and he has he has to begin tests because the doctor thinks he might have cancer it has been an emotional day he was outside on the pouch and i could hear him talking so wondering who he was talking to because no one else is here except his dad who was in his bedroom so i listened i heard him say stuff like i love you more than anything you're my soulmate but we can't start our life together until I know if I have cancer or not. Because I don't want to burden you with that. He went on to say when his Bowsby um, appointment was. And again started stating how much he loved the person. He has never declared his undying love to me. Or ever referred to me as his soulmate. So I was... A bit confused at first and then I realized what I was hearing we take care of his 87 year old dad and he lives with us he have grown kids some local and some far away I'm just so confused on how he was planning on stating on starting his new life is he taking his dad with him is he planning on making me leave we have stuff planned like trips and things. My head is just spinning because... But I, I guess I'm not totally shocked out of the blue. 10 years ago, I stumbled upon his adult friend finder profile. So I made a profile of my own and started talking to him. And he was making plans with me to hook up with who he was talking to. Me, but he thought I was someone else. I confronted him and it took some work, but we worked things out, yada, yada. Couple of months ago, I walked past his Kindle and see there is a webcam, a webcam on. So I looked at it. It's a website was Adult Friend Finder. I choose not to confront him then. I just let it slide. I know that was stupid. So I sit here now wondering what to do next. Do I shut my mouth and sit back and watch how this plays out? It is tempting to watch him lie and cheat and not know that I that I know. It could be interesting. Or do I go in the bedroom where he's not sleeping and open this and not put this kind of life challenging bullshit and tell him what I know? Do I sleep on it and confront him in the morning? I am the person who will do anything to not rock the boat. The less I am noticed, the better I feel. I have been let down by every man in my life, starting with my alcoholic, abusive, in all ways father, to every boyfriend and my first husband, to now current husband. The only male in my life who hasn't wrecked me is my son. So I guess I will shut up now. I can't call my kids or family or even my girlfriend yet. It is too soon, but I need to dump so. Thank you, Reddit, for being here. She's confused. She's asking what she should do. Should she confront him? Should she just play along? Because now she knows that he's cheating. And mind you, this is not the first time she caught him cheating. She saw this adult friendly, adult friend finder um, app and she started talking to him as if he was talking to someone else while he was making plans and all of that. But that was 10 years ago. They forgave each other. She forgave him and they moved on. 
What is annoying is that he's making plans with another woman that telling her that I want to spend the rest. I can't wait to spend the rest of my life with you because you are my soulmate. But wait first. Let me confirm if I have cancer. If I have cancer, I will not spend the rest of my life with you. I would rather stay with my wife because she will take care of me. But if I don't have cancer, definitely I am free. Then I will carry my caca and go and meet you. Then I will spend the rest of my life with you. Can you all, can you all just see how selfish and self-centered this man can be? He would rather stay with a new woman if he's healthy. But if he's not healthy, he knows that if he, if he has cancer and go and meet this his so-called soulmate, she's not going to take care of him the way his current wife would take care of him. They know, this man, they know that their current wife is their nanny, their mom, that they don't pay. They know that the side chick that they have can never take care of them as much can never even love them as much as their current wife would so that makes that statement is kind of like he knows that if he has that cancer i'd rather stay with my current wife it's not because he loves his current wife more than the girl no it's because he knows that he would die earlier if he goes to that girl and she might not even accept him because who wants to be dating someone that has cancer a cheater will always be a cheater. For me, he has cheated 10 years ago. The fact that you were chatting with him, blah, 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 blah. And there might be many more that she has not stated. And she acting no surprise, you know. She's calm in this whole situation. It shows that she was expecting it and all of that. She made an update and she said, Update. First, want to say I am overwhelmed by the response and support. I am humbled and I'm thankful for all your kind words and advice. I have read each message. I made it through the night without sleeping and without beating in over the head. But I fell asleep and woke up screaming and he asked what was wrong and it came all out. Thank you, Reddit. I want to hug you all. And yes, I am a terrible speller on good days. And also, I love his dad and I have no problem caring for him for the rest of his life. But that won't happen. So she has confronted him, but she didn't tell us what's up, what's up, what's up. But people were, you know, giving their suggestion and everything. Red Goddess said, I think you should continue to investigate what's going on and make sure you document anything you find. Then if you think this is irretrievable, as far as the relationship goes from your perspective, get all your dogs in a row. Talk to an attorney, get a paperwork drawn up so when things come to a head whether you or he instigates it you are ready to go make sure you have things like a go bag and and money put aside and a place to go if needed so that you're covered it is just really crappy it comes to this and i'm so sorry you're in a position with this poor father as well and wait until after the diagonalized in case his life insurance pays out. Then divorce him and take half. What a shit. Exactly. She needs to stand up for herself because no one else will. Get a lawyer, start moving front and try to keep calm. He's not worthy of your love. Once a cheater, always a cheater. Truly, once a cheater, always a cheater. Like, unless they just in their mind decide to change. But clearly, it's not, even at, at this point of cancer he stitch it and then they can't change um princess here says as far as i see it you got three choices the part of logic quietly consult a divorce lawyer and figure out what you need to do to protect yourself financially if he leaves make sure you have your own bank account and start keeping records of your income and expenses if you haven't done so already if he does anything around the house, you don't know how to do it. Learn from him so you can do it yourself. Basically, get your dogs in a row and figure out next step in, for your life. The second one is part of emotion. Badge into the bedroom and make a scene. Ask him who the woman is. Demand to see his phone. Show some passion. 
remind him of all the things you do for the second one is the, the part of emotion she was like barge into the bedroom and make a scene ask him what the woman is the man to see his phone and show some passion remind me remind him of all the things you do for him in the relationship the man he cuts her off and go to my marshall counseling with you marital sorry marital counseling with you make him sleep on the couch or kick him out altogether so he can feel the consequences of his action the goal is to shake things up for him and then offer a part of uh, reconciliation keep in mind he may not want to reconcile jump straight to divorce or just become better at hiding his affair the status quo that's the third one do nothing and pretend you didn't hear anything carry on as normal and hope he doesn't blindside you with the divorce or just accept that whatever will be will be the most passive approach if you just don't have the bandits to deal with any of this right now you can already see each approach has its pros and cons which one aligns most with your inner compass? For me, this approach or these choices that um, Princess stated here, I would say the first one is logic, mm -hmm, is good, and which and the last one is also better. The second one, which is you know making emotionally guilt, it already it's already going to make you feel like that already. So, like doing like you hurt me, blah blah blah, like. You, you both have been married for a while and you already know who he is. 35 years of marriage is not a being. So, I feel like just do things in quiet, quiet mode. Just don't let him know. But gather information. Gather information that you can use against him so that when he starts denying it or start lying or start doing some things, you just bring out the results and be like okay this 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 is what i noticed this this this, this was what i see and it will not be dumbfounded and say okay you cut me i feel like that is the best thing to do and i don't i don't ever i don't see if somebody wants to cheat this story also reminds me of the one that i saw this man was dying you know he was dying or he had an accident or something his wife oh yeah his wife he was going to cheat on his wife before he had an accident or he died or something he broke his leg the wife forgave him she took him in she did everything they got back together and all of that you know he regretted was like i regret what i did blah 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 you all he started getting better and the next thing he's doing is start chatting and doing all of that all over again the things that made him go almost died he's doing it all over again and the wife found out again and she was like what should she do see if a man can cheat on you at that point at a dying point he's about to die and he's planning another life with someone else he's gone like he's not someone that you can trust with your life not someone that like uh -uh. it's someone that you just have to let go try to see how you can get so many things from him and just let go so that you're not going to lose at your own at your own end but then let me know your thoughts about this video down in the comment section what would you do in that situation and to, speaking of the father that she's taking care of well is her choice she says she she's okay because she loves the dad and all of that but for me I, let him go with his soulmate with his dad as well so that the soulmates can take care of his dad and see how it is to take care of 87 year old man then let's see if she's still going to be the soul the so-called soulmate that is saying she is mm -hmm. i don't i don't want to i don't i don't think it's right for her to just take the man in and start you know taking care of her i don't think it's the right thing anyway let me know your thoughts about this video down in the comment section. I thank you all so much for sticking around to this point. I hope you enjoyed this one. Don't forget to like and share and subscribe and turn on the post notification bell so you can get notified when I upload interesting video like this one. And I'll see you all in my next one. Bye.